Hey guys, welcome to this brand new flame game development series. Since you're watching this, I assume that you already know what flame engine is. So I won't waste your time explaining it again. Anyways, this time around, we are going to make a platformer style game. And this is how it will finally look like. You play as this square character which can move and jump around on these platforms. Then, just like any standard platformer, there are some collectible coins that increase your score. And finally, you have these enemies which you can avoid or kill by jumping on them. If you want, you can try out this game in your browser from my itch.io page. Link will be in the description. As you can tell, it is going to be a fairly simple game. But before we get started, there is an important thing that you should know. I'll be using a specific version of Flame for this project. If you start watching these videos at a much later time in future, it is very likely that a newer version of Flame will be released by then and you might be tempted to use that latest version. If and when you find yourself in this situation, make sure that you are aware of all the breaking changes that might have been introduced in the latest version as compared to the version used in this series. Also, if you are a beginner and are confused, I'll suggest you to stick with the exact same version as me till you finish the series. And after that, you can try to upgrade to latest version. Okay, so enough talking. Now let's start with the initial setup. First, I'll create a new Flutter project named Flame Simple Platformer. Once the project is ready, let's open up the pubspec yaml and add the required dependencies. For now, it will just be Flame and Flame Tiled. For those who don't know, Tiled is a famous 2D tile mapping tool which allows us to design and export 2D levels as TMX files. And Flame Tiled is a package which will allow us to read these exported TMX files as a Flame component. Next, we need to create some directories to store our images and tiled assets. By default, Flame Engine looks for a directory named assets in the root of this project. I'll create that first. Then inside this assets folder, Flame looks for image assets in a folder named images and tiled assets in a folder named tiles. I'll create both these folders as well. Next, I'll have to specify these locations in the assets section of our pub spec so that all the files placed at these locations get bundled with the project build. Now as a final step of this initial setup, let's get the required image assets. This time, I went for self-made image assets. So you can get them from my H profile. Link will be in the description. Once you download the zip, just extract it and copy the spriteshit.png into the images folder that we just created. And that is it. We have now successfully completed the initial setup for our game. In the next video, I'll show you how to use Tiled to create levels and then render those levels using Flame Engine. So hit the like button if you liked the video. Subscribe if you enjoy my content and I hope to see you in the next one.